Welcome to my channel. I'm Matthew and today is day two of the 12 shades for Christmas. But before I get started, I'm going to roll the intro. As you can see, we've opened door number one. Let's go ahead and open door number two. Uh, this thing is massive. Did I tell you that? And during the shipment, you know, the stuff rattled around. And so a couple doors, you know, got pushed in a little bit, but you still can't see what it is. So let's go ahead and open door number two. Ooh. Oh, mercy. Let me get this out. It, oh, about dropped it. There's the card. Let me set this thing down because this, this is an accident waiting to happen. As you can see, I, I don't even have any of my stuff ready because this is what we've got. Planet 9. And I forgot to mention the last time because I was so excited and I... I've just forgot to make a little mental note. But uh, out of the 12 shades, there's going to be five discontinued since. And those are the ghosts of the past. And there's going to be seven future releases, which those are going to be the uh, ghosts of the future. And like I said, this is Planet Nine. And I'm pretty sure this was a, a, a release uh, from the past. And let's just take a little... Oh my. I've never put my nose on this before, but it's a very pungent floral. And if you guys have been watching for a while, floral is not really my thing, but um, it may be yours. And I'm, I'm debating because here's where I'm at. Like, well, besides my camera being a little crooked. Okay, there we go. Now, here's where I'm at. Um, what my dilemma was, what if there's a scent that I'm just not, it's just not my thing. What do I do? Do I shave with it? Because typically if I order a sample, <clears throat> I'll just take a little bit and put it on my wrist and wear it around and smell it, you know, throughout the day and see if I like it. Because sometimes the soap is going to mask this actual scent and so your body chemistry reacts with that scent as well. And so sometimes it's a match and sometimes it's not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little picture and put this in here. And while I'm reading off the scent notes, I'm gonna think about, am I gonna continue on with the shave? So. The uh, scent profile is uh, energizing and intoxicating, containing a delicate floral note with a whiff of citrus, honey, and green spice, spicy facets. Comforting yet exotic with a slight element of mystery. Well, there's no mystery for me. It's, it's straight up floral. Uh, think Temple of Doom type mystery vibe. Well... I've got to go get some stuff ready for a shave. I'll be right back. Well, <clears throat> I, have, I have wet my face and um, I'm going to call out to the tube 2.0. Help me, dear charcoal infused pre shave. <laughs> uh, Menthol and charcoal. It's a good combo. All right. So I've got one day's worth of growth. And uh, planet nine, that mysterious extra planet in our solar system. I don't know if they've really released that or not. You know, after I've got this lathered up in my HCNC stainless steel bowl, I made this beautiful lather and it's become more spicy, still pretty florally. I'm using my Trotter's handcraft brush and I'm thinking Temple of Doom. <laughs> oh.
I don't know why, but the floral scent to me is just, um, I don't know how, or it just, it screams grandma scent, you know, like, do you remember back in the day when many grandmas had that little powder tub, you know, and you'd take the lid off and there was this huge powder applicator. I, that's just what screams to me and I don't, I don't know why. Uh, if you love floral scents, I'm sorry. I just, all right. So <clears throat> today's razor is going to be the Occam's Nano and I have a feather super in there it's the one in the white pack anyway this is going to make for a quick shave <laughs> uh the old potato peeler very nice efficient close it says it all The old second day advent calendar got me. <laughs> and this is where typically um, I would have already had my wife and kids smell it, you know, and we'd take a little whiff of it and tell each other what we thought and kind of go around the table and see if everybody's nose picked up the same thing. So, I can't really say what she would think about this. Scent. Somewhere in the comments below, I will let you know. You know, the other nice thing about these complex scents is sometimes the floral or powder scent is only prominent, you know, as what you smell first and you know in 15 to 20 minutes that scent may dissipate and have more of a green or spiciness to it i don't know but i do know one thing is the uh, paa splashes they have some longevity to them and uh it will persist throughout the day whatever the outcome is going to be on this Speaking of outcome, comment below and let me know. Do you enjoy floral scents? Look at that. Two, two swipes and my whole cheek is done. Definitely residual slickness with that. Oh yeah. You know, this, this is a very nice razor. The only disadvantage I can say about it is just that the blade is so much larger. If you, you know, even though it can cover a lot of area, if you've got a lot of uh, high or low spots on your face, it's gonna go right over it and you're gonna have to do a little bit more clean up in certain areas. Like right in here, I could probably do a little touching up, but that's my forbidden zone. If I do multiple passes, I'm definitely getting irritation right around here. So let me get cleaned up with some cold water. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh yes, well, so far in the uh, two days we've been doing this, we've had one discontinued scent and one future scent, which was yesterday's shave, which was very nice Christmassy pine. Now, let's see, I don't know, it smells a little different, so. Mercy that came out a lot. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I thought it had a little different scent to it, but <clears throat> now that the alcohol is involved, 
my nose still smelled the same. I was just looking for any little Easter eggs here on the back. See if I there was anything crazy on here. Other than just apply aftershave to freshly shaven skin as well as hot spots, wrist, behind ears, and chest. Well, that's the shave for me. I'll put a picture right here. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me. And uh, I value your support, comments, and shares, and the views. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow on the third day of the Advent Calendar Shave. See you then. Do you guys know? Forgot the star jelly, and I need it. Oh, do I need it? <laughs> See, you know that's how things go when you're when my routine is altered. Uh, sometimes I just skip right over things for whatever reason. <laughs> See you later.